Health care has been a major issue in today's politics. With the recent introduction of health care reform, many have been debating over our current health care system. This has brought light to a lot of the issues and problems with our current system. One of these problems is getting everyone covered. When we think about the, the, the millions of Americans who don't have health insurance, which is usually where the debate gets back to, and the inability of Americans to access health uh, care, uh, it's largely because of how expensive it is. The expenses are so great. So health care is expensive, so health insurance is expensive. Well, so when we, get, we can sit here and we can talk about getting people insurance all we want, but until we deal with the problem of the expense of health care, then you really are never going to solve the problem of access. Cost. This is the other main issue with our current health care system. Um, part of the reason why it's so expensive is that there are so many factors which add to the expense. So take, for example, um, something as simple as the, the habits of, of many Americans. Um, smoking, uh, overeating, uh, lack of exercise, sed sedentary lifestyle, sort of sitting around on the couch instead of being active. All these things increase the demand for health care services. And in many cases increase the demand for very expensive health care services. And you think about, about if when you think about health care as a, a commodity similar to um, any other commodity, and we understand that its price is going to be affected by the supply available and the demand for it. Well, the supply is finite in a lot of cases because to be a provider of health care requires an enormous amount of education. It's an expensive education, let's add that, uh, and, and not everybody can do it. Another question is, what has modern medicine done to attribute to this cost? <laughs> it's a system whose miracles have actually contributed to its problems. There, there's part of it. You know, there's an, an, another reason for the increased demand for health care driving up costs is people are living longer. And they struggle now with chronic diseases that they never would have dealt with 40 years ago because they wouldn't have lived that long. So is it just the cost of health care that's causing all of our problems? Is it all these new issues arising due to new medicines, new procedures, all this stuff and increased population that's attributing to the cost that's causing all these problems. Let's see how other countries deal with it. One thing I'd like to point out is that the United States spends twice as much on health care per capita than any other country. The spending even continues to increase. In 2005, the national health care expenditure totaled to $2 trillion. The sad part about this is, though we spend twice as much as any other country, our life expectancy is below average. What is different between these other countries and ours healthcare that makes them spend less but have better outcomes? There's countries like Japan, Spain, and New Zealand who spend only a third of what we do per person but have better outcomes with higher life expectancies above the average where ours is below. What's the difference between these countries and ours? Simple. National healthcare. We have made an attempt toward this with the new health care reform bill. Here are the details that every American needs to know about this plan. First, if you are among the hundreds of millions of Americans who already have health insurance, nothing in this plan will require you or your employer to change the coverage of the doctor you have. Under this plan, it will be against the law for insurance companies to deny you coverage because of a pre-existing condition. As soon as I sign this bill, it will be against the law for insurance companies to drop your coverage when you get sick or water it down when you need it the most. They will no longer be able to place some arbitrary cap on the amount of coverage you can receive in a given year or in a lifetime. We will place a limit on how much you can be charged for out-of-pocket expenses because in the United States of America, no one should go broke because they get sick. And insurance companies will be required to cover with no extra charge, routine checkups, and preventive care. Like this bill was attempt to get us on the same level as all these other developed countries' health care system. But is it a step in the right direction or a step in the wrong? Uh, we need to put people in charge of their own health. It goes back to prevention again. And I, I'm a kind of a libertarian when it comes to uh, how I think we should uh, run and operate a government. I think the two primary functions 
of, of the government or to provide protection and to provide order. And I believe that we disincentivize people when we provide too much for them um, through any kind of stimulus, uh, including uh, uh, over-involvement in people's lives with even with health care. I, I do not believe health care is a right. If health care were a right, nobody would die. The bottom line is we need to give people the opportunity to take care of themselves, to, 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 to live healthy lives, to, 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 to develop healthy lifestyles. Maybe this would be giving too much power to the government. Maybe they would be trying to provide too much for us. But why would we give it to corporate greed or private businesses when we can give it to our government, the ones we elect? We can give it to ourselves. There may be some issues with Obamacare, but it does try to fix a lot of problems. One of these problems is that people don't have coverage. Some of it's because they can't afford it, and some of it is just because of pre-existing conditions. They're denied their health care coverage. That's right. The people who are actually sick, who would need it the most, can't get health insurance. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, in 2006, 15.8% or 47 million people were uninsured. And proof that cost is the reason for this was in the National Center for Health Statistics they said that the primary reason for given for lack of health insurance coverage in 2005 was the cost. The National Center for Health Care Statistics also states that more than 40 million adults stated in 2005 that they did not get the health service they needed because they couldn't afford it. And let me just remind you that the United States is the only wealthy industrialized nation that does not have a universal health care system. You need, if, if you need uh, foot surgery, the current health care system uh, allow, uh, will not pay for orthotics for your shoes that might help prevent a very expensive surgery later on. So one of the things that I think the current system needs to do better is to is in the area of prevention. Uh, so wellness checks, uh, checkups uh, should be a regular part of the system. Uh, and I also think that we need to reduce the number of lawsuits that uh, people can bring against doctors because that's driving up the cost of health care because a doctor will uh, order many, many kinds of tests, many of which don't need to be uh, conducted or, or run because they're concerned about uh, missing something and then a lawsuit ensuing later. These are the other problems that need to get fixed. We got unneeded tests being performed and the other thing is healthcare has become a business. It's They make decisions based off what is most productive, what they get the best outcome out of, what, what they produce the most amount of money. What has arisen from this is now instead of curing people it's actually found to be more cost effective to give people pills. Instead of doing stuff to prevent diseases it's better for someone to actually get the disease because then they, the pharmaceutical companies the, or healthcare providers can make more money off selling you pills rather than ha having you get a surgery or doing procedures to help prevent something from happening. This with the combination of new diseases and people living longer is attributing to the cost and the problem with the healthcare system. America is a great nation. It's a nation with great potential. And though our healthcare system seems to be lacking, it doesn't mean we can't fix it. With the recent introduction of Obamacare, we have recognized some of the issues and problems with our current system. But uh, is it going too far? Or is it just not going the right direction? However, it does recognize many of the problems that they, our current healthcare system has. And maybe since it does recognize those problems, it is a step in the right direction. Maybe anything that recognizes the problems and attempts to fix them is a step in the right direction. The United States is a great nation. It's a nation with even greater potential. 
But if we get held back with these th with things such as healthcare that all these other industrial nations have already dealt with, we're just going to be left behind. We're never going to reach that great potential. I hope you'll realize all the problems with our current healthcare system and realize that change is needed. I hope that you'll go out and do what you think is right to help get that change needed, whether it's go out the petition or just get the word out. That's the most important thing. Get the word out. Make sure it's known. Make sure something gets changed.